Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about an app that is called Go Animate. So from the student resource home, underneath elementary tools, if you scroll down alphabetically, Go Animate is right there. So if you click on Go Animate, it will take you to their home page. Up at the top is a button that says log in. All you have to do is press log in. Now, this is where a lot of students make a mistake. This is where they start entering their email address. We do not want to enter our email address. Down below is our Google login. And if you click on Google login, the first time that little box popped up, you're going to have to press, like I think it says, allow permission to access Google um, your Google accounts. And once you press allow, it will take you inside of the account. So as you can see, these were previous animated videos that I had made, and that's the share export button, so that's where you're going to be able to grab your embed code when you're done. But for now, what you need to do is in the upper left-hand corner, press make a video. Now, these are free accounts, so where it says uh, make a video from scratch, these are the, the uh, business-friendly videos. So if you can see business exclusive, business exclusive, and then this $59 a year, we, are, we don't have access to these. What we do have access to are the ones that don't have anything on the top. So for these two business ex exclusive, we don't. But Comedy World, Little Peeps, uh, Cartoon Classics, all of these. The one thing you need to be cautious of, even though you can change the background, say you chose wildlife, the only characters that you're going to be able to choose for this animated video are wildlife animals. Same thing with Space Peeps. If you choose this particular template, the only characters you're going to be able to have are Space Peeps. You can change backgrounds. So just be cautious of that. So I'm going to select Comedy World and press make a video. Now if you wanted to, you could watch a tutorial. I'm just going to skip it. The best way I learn is just by playing around and figuring it out myself. So here's the first scene. It's the bedroom. Well, maybe I don't want the first scene to be in the bedroom. If you see, I just clicked on that scene and then I can go up to where it says delete and press delete now maybe I wanted him to start off in the sitting room living room all I do is click on the picture and voila there it is now up here in the upper left you can see if I hover over it allows me to see what each one of these do I could select a character all I want to do click on it once there he is if I click on this character now you see I have some options I could have this character dancing I could even have this character, if I scroll down a little bit, sitting. Now, just remember, just because we have the option for this character to dance doesn't mean it makes sense for the character to dance. If I was covering a topic and maybe having a debate about why we should not cut down rainforest trees, it would not be appropriate for this character to be dancing. So just because we have the option doesn't mean that it's appropriate or necessarily um, something that we need to do for everything. Now, if I want this character to move, in the upper left-hand corner, it says toggle movement. Also, if I click on this character, you can see here where it says toggle movement on or off. So if I want this character to move throughout the scene, I click it, and now you can see I can have moving. So maybe I click him in a running position. And I want this character to start here, and I want him to feel like he's running out of the room. Now, if I want to add voice, I could either record my own voice. I really like the text-to-speech option. The only downfall with the text-to-speech option is that I'm limited to 180 characters. So I could type here, hey, what's going on outside? And I could even change the character's voice. I want to press generate voice. Hey, what's going on outside? If I want to use this, I need to press add voice. So now when I go to press preview, I'll get to see what my video looks like so far. Hey, what's going on outside? Pretty cool. I can go back to edit. There's lots of different things that I can do um, with this character. I could even slow down uh, how fast he or she is going. So you can see right now it's one second long. So maybe I want to make it two seconds long and my character will run a little bit slower this time. Hey, what's going on outside? All right. 
So now, if I wanted to add props, I wanted to make sure I talked about this. There are some props in here that are awesome that we could absolutely use. There are some props in here that are not appropriate. Remember, this isn't just an educational tool. So for example, this picture of a gun should not appear in any of our GoAnimates. A birthday cake, if it was appropriate, if it correlated to your topic. Uh, microphones, um, but there, are, as you scroll down, you can see there are some things in here that are not appropriate for school. So this is something that we do not want you to be putting into your GoAnimate, otherwise you will not be able to have access and use a, uh, a sweet tool like this. So please make sure you are using good decisions when you are adding props. You can even add in music in the background. So if I wanted to listen to it, I could click, drag, and I'd put it in the music column. So if I wanted to add another scene, I could kick, click the plus button, and you see it just duplicated that. So I could clear this scene and then go up to backgrounds, and maybe now the next scene, he was running out of the living room, and maybe he was, I said he was going outside, but you could see if there was something outside like this. And you can go and continue to add your characters. And maybe this character fell down. So we could add text to speech. I fell and I could not get back up, Dad. So go through, we'll see what this one sounds like. I fell and I cannot get back up down. Add voice. So now, when I go to press preview. Hey, what's going on outside? I fell and I cannot get back up down. So press back to editing. The first time you use this tool, I want you to get in, disco discover, explore. Once you get comfortable using this tool, this is when we're going to start using it for assignments. So even if you wanted to do a book report, or I had a student last year explain Newton's three laws of motion and had the characters doing the experiment. I've also had students use this tool to debate. Maybe they were debating on um, whether or not we should have longer recess or which president was better. So this tool, although it's really cool and you can use it for um, play purposes, this is also a really powerful tool that we could use here at school to help make our lessons and our activities a little bit more engaging. Well, I hope you like it. As always, if you have questions, feel free to ask each other. Um, get up. Don't do it for them. Walk them through it. And if it's something that you guys can't figure out, you can always ask me. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.